A Bridgeport's mom's desperate plea tonight, more than two decades after her 10 year old child disappeared. Frank Recchia reports. Hi, my name is Carmelita Torres. 48 year old Carmelita Torres says the past 21 years have been a living nightmare ever since her daughter, 10 year old Bianca LeBron, vanished. I miss her. I love her so much. She's my baby. The child was last seen November 7th, 2001, by a teacher at Elias House School on the west side of Bridgeport. She had left with somebody that she said was her uncle in a van. We didn't know that, and that broke my heart more. No. What they want me to do? More than two decades later, police say the case has grown cold. But Carmelita telling us she will never stop loving or looking for Bianca, the third of her four children. The mom telling us her little girl absolutely loved to dance, showing us this photo of Bianca dancing with her aunt. She was dancing with my sister. And can you do the little dance for me? Like, it was me she what... was just happy. She would go dance, dance. She didn't care. She wow. didn't care. You dance to dance to have fun. Carmelita says she used to bring Bianca here to Seaside Park. The rocks, you know, the rocks all the way down. Because her daughter loved the beautiful views. You think of the memories, good <laughs> memories. That's all I have. But she says the best views in the world to her are photos of Bianca, which she still looks at every single day. Well, I'm glad you have a beautiful day today. Yes, it is beautiful. That's why I'm blessed. Carmelita telling us she was here at the park at 6 o'clock this morning to reserve this table because the venue famously fills up fast on the day of the Barnum Festival Parade. We here today to celebrate her and to always say that she's still missing. After 21 years without her daughter, it's been a long, long road for this mom, but she says she'll keep walking it, looking for Bianca as long as it takes. And we're still doing it to this day. It's not going to stop. We're not going to stop until we find her. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.